In other words, you start thinking you're special? You think Allah needs you? You think you're a contributor to Islam that nobody else can be? That you are irreplaceable? Allah Azza wa Jalla essentially says, what, what to speak of you, I'll bring a nation instead of you. You're, you're not an asset. You're not, don't think of yourself as that, that high. Already we're being put in our place. And one of the central embedded teachings of this ayah is humility. That we understand our place. That in this deen, when we get the honor of saying La ilaha illallah, when we have the honor of saying Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then this is an honor and a gift given by Allah. And if you don't appreciate this gift, then who needs you? There's plenty of others that can appreciate it more than you and I. There's plenty of others. Similarly, we have to start, stop thinking even those among us who are involved in religious activity. They're involved in positions of leadership, of volunteering, of helping out Islamic causes, whatever they're doing, in whatever capacity. Sometimes you start thinking, man, if I don't do it, it won't get done. If I'm not the one giving the khutbah, if I'm not the one helping out volunteering at the masjid, if I'm not on the board, if I'm not the MSA president, if I'm not running the da'wah organization, man, this work cannot happen. I can't even believe, you know, how I, I'm surprised it was even happening before I got here because I'm God's gift to Islamic work, right? So I, you know, without me, how would it even move forward? And Allah Azza wa Jalla is letting us know, all of us know, that you know His deen is beyond you and I. And it's not like other people will come forward and so we give other people credit. Allah says, يَأْتِ اللَّهُ بِقَوْمٍ Not يَأْتِ قَوْمٌ يَأْتِ قَوْمٌ would be a nation will come. يَأْتِ اللَّهُ بِقَوْمٍ Allah will bring a nation. It's not even that new nation gets credit. Allah gets credit for bringing them out. Allah gets credit for the replacements. We are replaceable. And we are in a position of privilege and honor. And we have to accept that and admit that. And that's a humbling thing. At the same time it's an honor. At the same time you and I should be humbled. That Allah has chosen us and given us this responsibility, we should take it very, very seriously. And in no aspect of our deen, and in no ounce of our attitude, should we be people that turn back from our deen, in any capacity, altogether or partly. We shouldn't be of those people. We should be of the people who move forward.